Osmo's UV protection oil is one of the best external wood treatments out there. It'll prevent your wood from going grey, splitting, cracking, warping, and it also has protection against mould and mildew. Today we're going to be applying the Osmo UV protection oil to some new wood cladding. For this you'll need the Osmo UV protection oil, Mako paint stirrer, the Osmo soft tip brush and the Woodley's microfiber cloth. We recommend that your timber is clean and dry before you start oiling. If it has rained, then we would recommend two to three days of good dry weather before you start. New wood needs to be sanded with 120 grit sandpaper and no finer. Old wood needs to be sanded back completely. It's important that all the ingredients are stirred thoroughly. Do not shake. The reason we do recommend stirring is because it mixes all the ingredients after they have settled. So I'm going to be applying the oil sparingly, going with the grain where possible. For this I'm using, as I said, the Osmo soft tip brush, but a hollow bristle brush would work as well. It's important that you use these brushes because they'll suck the oil up like a straw and then they'll spread it thinly. You can see here I'm really working it into the wood. And you can see as well the colour difference. It really enhances the natural colour of the wood. So clear might not be to everyone's taste, but the Osmo UV protection oil comes in a range of colours as well. And this will also give more UV protection than just using the clear. So as well as doing the front surface, it's also important that you get the end grain. Uh, this bit's more susceptible to taking up water and moisture, so ensuring these are oiled is really important as well. If you're unsure on how much you'll need, then on our website we've got a really handy coverage calculator. But generally, Osmo goes a lot further than their competitors and a little will go a long way. Osmo advise that this product is applied between 10 and 25 degrees. We do recommend that it's dry for 12 hours before you can recoat it. If it still feels a bit tacky after the 12 hours, then just leave it longer. It needs to feel dry before you can complete a second coat. If you're not sure if clear or the tinted options are for you, then Osmo do have the 5ml sachet samples. So this is a really cost-effective way of choosing the colour or the clear before committing to a bigger tin. And they are available on the website. Once the 12 hours is up, you can then go on with your second coat as you did the first, nice thin application. Regarding aftercare and maintenance, I would always recommend that you give it a coat every 12 to 18 months because this will keep the wood protected, it will keep um, costs down, effort down and time down because you're not having to do as much preparation every time you come back to it. So that's a really, really good tip.